Hello and welcome to MFAC Coaching. I bet you can tell this week is Tropical Week. This is part of the uh, YouTube collab loop group hosted by Creatively Lisa Marie. Give her a big shout out when you get to her in the loop. I'm going to go through five of my planners, show you some tropical spreads, and uh, then get you on to the next video. So thanks for watching today. Let's get to it. Actually, you know what? I love a good flip through video, but I do, and so that's essentially what I'm doing. It's just that I'm not flipping through the same planner because all my tropical spreads are in different planners. I'm going to start with this monthly spread with stickers from Fairy Love Designs. I've got, and then a couple of stickers from like the Happy Planner. Uh, but Fairy Love Designs, she's got these gorgeous just i mean these colors are just gorgeous they just screamed top tropical island to me uh and so i put them down and you'll notice that in this planner this is my goal planner and so i don't i could track everything every day but i'm also tracking everything throughout the weeks and so it really didn't seem to make a lot of sense to me to use this monthly planner like a traditional monthly planner and so i decided to decorate it the way I needed it, which was to show what I was uh, working on each week, what my goals were for those weeks. I was creating a different goal for every week, trying something for seven days, seeing what I needed to keep and what I didn't need to keep, essentially. Uh, and so um, this spread kind of came to life. I believe I actually did this spread on camera, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that here for you. Uh, these were the, I wanted to take my work breaks. I wanted to make sure I got them. I'm really good at sitting down at my computer and sitting there for almost the full straight eight hours if I'm not careful. I wanted to work on my daily workouts. I had gotten out of the habit of working out every day and I had tried to do that for a week. I wanted to make sure I focused on my IG or my LinkedIn that week. This was in July. Uh, I took a week off and then I had an interview at work and I did interview prep for the week prior. Those were my goals at least. Um, and so I just used this monthly planner to track the different weeks. I think this worked out really well. I enjoyed the different washi in the background, both vertical, yep, and horizontal. You can see I cut out kind of a wave here to go in to continue that kind of tropical feel. Uh, and you know, Look at these gorgeous women on these tropical islands. You got your drinks, your bikini. So, so fun. These spreads are in no particular order, just pretty much what I can reach. This is my podcast planner. If you don't already know, I'm part of a podcast. It's called the Apartment 29A podcast. I do it with my best friend. And each week we talk about a book and we drink tea and then we tend to do a check-in. So in this week... Um, we did, we talked about my friend going to a Taylor Swift concert. How awesome is that? Um, and she works in an aquarium, so she got to hang out with a baby penguin. I had talked about a trip to Arizona and my, uh, sister and brother-in-law opening their brewery, Metabolic Brewing. We talked about the book, A Letter to the Luminous Deep by Sylvie Cathral, and we drank an English breakfast tea. Uh, the stickers, however, these are mainly from Lotus Moon Raven, uh, but then I added some additional stickers from a sticker book that I got from uh, Michael's, I believe. So it's a recollection sticker book. Um, I got a little puffy sticker from, Tar a couple of puffy stickers. For these are from Target, uh, and then, um, yeah, then this is a Lotus Moon Raven Moon. Loved it. Had so much fun. And then added just some pens here to add some color. It really feels kind of like a safari to me. Uh, we're doing just like that little tropical um, 
mixture, I guess, uh, of a safari, but I really had a lot of fun with this particular spread. You'll notice that kind of the theme ends up being these like palm trees, but they're not in every spread. It's just that palm trees just say tropical to me, even though I live in San Diego and there are palm trees everywhere. It's one of the only native plants, I believe. This next spread is a another version of tropical. So this one's very lush and green. These are all stickers primarily from planning in blue jeans. Uh, these uh, all sh are all shops that I do PR for other than the Happy Planner. Um, and so definitely check below for my codes if you're loving what you see. Uh, but these are some Happy Planner stickers interspersed primarily with planning in blue jeans. And I just love this idea of the lush tropical island. If you've ever been to Hawaii, um, it is just so green, uh, particularly in January when I was there last. And I just loved, um, seeing all of the foliage. Uh, so I just, I used again, some vertical washi. I'm really obsessed with the vertical washi this year. Uh, pulled out the pinks and the greens. It made a wonderful combination, I feel. And uh, it really just felt like I was in the tropical island forest. Next up is my, my catch all planner. So this is where I put down everything that I need to do each week. So in each of the other planners, I tend to use them more as a brain dump. What all do I need to do? And then I use this one to decide what day I'm going to get it all done. So this is a go getter girl planner. And these are stickers from Wilson Wilde. And then the Happy Planner. <laughs> um, and these are some 3D stickers that are actually from the dollar store. So much fun, very slightly different version of tropical, but you can still get that tropical flair. Got the tropical uh, leaves. Just really felt like I was in the tropics with these particular spreads. And then of course I just, it was my safari week, so I had to add a lion. Oh, look at this tiger. Love it. Just, you can tell I had fun with the Target stickers. Um, I'm really enjoying this Go-Getter Girl planner. Gives you a little space to decorate and then a lot of space to organize your week, your day, I should say. Um, and then a couple places for different types of work. These are the things that I need to do that are not IG related. And these are my IG posts. I just really love how this uh, all came together. It really does give that tropical vacation feel. Then my last two spreads that I want to share, these are all, well, these are Happy Planner stickers here and here. Uh, and then this is from Target. This is actually from, this is a Planny Thing sticker. These are, again, this is from Target. I believe this is also from either Walmart or the dollar store. <laughs> and again, you just have those, those, that tropical feeling, the beautiful, bright colors, um, kind of vacation-y adventure feeling. This is my teacher planner. Um, I am always teaching, it feels like. Uh, you can see at this point in July, I had four classes, but you can see there are two sections there, so it's really five classes. That fluctuates throughout the year. One final spread. These are Wilson Wild stickers and oh, her color saturation is just perfection. Uh, I just cannot imagine how much ink she is using, but hey, she is great. Uh, you can get 30% off with my code on here. And if this doesn't look like, just make you give you those vacation tropic fields, I don't know what will. Um, so it just happens on this spread. You can see I had one, well, I, so I had a couple versions of Psych 142, which is general psychology. I had two classes here. And then you can see me prepping for the future here. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. Nine classes right here, and that is not all of them, my friends, but that's what I had at that time. Uh, it will be a little insane when that happens, uh, but I really love that there's kind of this like grouping here and this other grouping here, and I was able to kind of write all around it. So that is one of my suggestions, like even though when you do a spread, you tend to have places where you anticipate writing, write anywhere and everywhere if the need comes, uh, because it just kind of fills in the space and makes it a lot of fun. So I hope with all of these spreads here, you've gotten some real inspiration for the tropics. Um, you'll notice I didn't do a lot of tropical drinks. Um, I could have, I just kind of stayed away from that particular idea. I'm gonna bring at least some of these spreads back. And you can let me know which one is your favorite. And if you've ever done a monthly spread that wasn't specific to like an actual daily month idea. All right, here they all are. There's so many, it's hard to even get them all in the frame. But let me know which one is your favorite. And for more inspiration, go ahead and follow the video in my show notes below. Have a great week. May you envision the tropics when you close your eyes and just relax. And uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.